Hello, and welcome back to Wild Arms 3. So, let's see, so I leveled up twice. Last night after stream, and yeah, so that's, <clears throat> that took a little bit, but did level up, so that's not a bad thing. Um, So that's that. Um, let's head to the next dungeon. Just... And we're pretty good on lots of things. We got um, never good on stuff, so let's just go. I gotta remember to do when we fight bosses, especially have the EXP double thing. So Beautiful, almost, although it's rather cold. Yeah, you're right, there's no doubt about it. This place is cold as death. I can't feel the warmness in the air as we usually get when we come in contact with a medium. Reminds me of a morgue, except much prettier. Not exactly uh, about the, this music for this dungeon, but meh. It's good music at least. Attacking each, why are they attacking each other?
cool. See you so soon. Ba, ba, ba. Maya! So, someone tipped you off about the gemstones, too. Is that what you're after? Yeah, but not for the same reason you are. You are always so vague. <clears throat> I don't know what your intention is, but one thing is for sure you perpetually appear wherever I go. Pester me. You might be. An altruistic reason might have an altruistic reason for being here, but I, if you get in their way, I won't hesitate to take you down. I just want to be true to myself and live honestly. I know you try to stop me, but I want to know the truth behind this world. I want to solve its mystery. I have to keep going in order to keep up with my father's trail. I want to research the gemstones found in this cave. These sh these shards are pieces of the planet's existence. <laughs> Despite your reasoning, you're still good after the gems, which makes us enemies. Don't look at me like that. Didn't I? Didn't I tell you I would be be no? Holt's barred the next time we meet. Well, see ya. You better hurry, or else all the gems will be mine. Who's ever timed? That'd be horrible. What are gems exactly? Gems are composed of life energy of the planet. This life energy will be likened to the blood of living organisms. The coagulation of the planet's lifeblood becomes what we know as gems. Hold on. Nice. 
I will definitely take that. Dang it. <clears throat> Okay, so that's the entrance, then we'll go up here. So... Bum bum. 
Bum, 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 bum. I just can't seem to get away from you. Can't believe how <clears throat> so much time, energy, and body fat can motivate you drifters this far. I'm really getting fed up. You really want some gems that badly? Then here's a present for you. Oh, how big and beautiful. Just look at lovely color and cut. It's perfect for you, don't you think? Well, I'm about to find my perfect gem then. Ta-ta! Uh huh. Massive boulder blocking your way, bombs alone will be able to shatter it. A sudden change in its temperature might. Uh -huh. Right. No, not that.
let's see. Okay. I know it had to be some kind of combination there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Cora. Save right here. As I mentioned earlier, gems can be likened to blood exuding from the planet. Blood that had coagulated. Which in turn means that this this place is full of wounds. Wounds translate into, into the decay of land and impoverished planet. Gems can be found within ruins and buildings for this very reason. That's why this place feels like a morgue. We feel it even more so because of the medium and the planet's life force. And also because we have been in contact with the Guardian's power. This is one of the more da damaged places on Philgaia. Gems are awesome. yeah, ostensibly supposed to grow in size with the passage of time. Even with a large quantity of gems in this cave, the actual size does not differ from other locations. Perhaps the professor's theory is true. It may seem preposterous, but there is evidence here to back it up. Boom. Bum, 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 bum. All right. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm more curious about what where these holes lead and falling in. Bum bum. Bum bum.
Alright. That's dead.
Okay. Get it. Why do I keep ending up in the same place? The mystic mega sized gem is waiting for me to embrace it. I don't have time for this. Hey, well, that's not fair. How did you get up there? I make the path that leads to the treasure, not you. Stay where you are. Don't move. Take a nap or something. Lock yourself up somewhere. <clears throat> she doesn't seem to know her way around the cavern either, which means she'll, she won't be able to hinder our progress. I believe it is safe for us to press on. Let's do that. Stop where you are, you are not worthy of the gym. If you're going to give it all, give it your all, you're then I'll gladly accept your all, and then I'll crush you. Quit hiding, Maya. Show your face. Hiding? I wouldn't want you to think of that. Find all the true powers of Maya Schrodinger. I think I'm gonna puke.
What's with the gaudy costume? Surprised? This is my true power. The lady possesses supernatural powers, but she can convert information into her own special abilities. Even all sensical information can be processed through the medium of a book to wield unlimited powers. In other words, she is able to con ch channel certain characters from comics or novels. Very good, Four Eyes. So, basically she's a freak that can mimic the abilities of fictional freaks she reads about. She's gonna freak out. <clears throat> <laughs> you all look impressed. Oh, sis, they've been taken... They've been taken aback. I am Wonder Witch, and I have the power to cast any kind of magic. Yeah, I remember him being a, a noxious. Really focus on him. Yeah.
Okay. Pesky, aren't we? But how about some of this? Give a mite of the forbidden spell. No. <clears throat> so both Gallows and Clive both leveled up. And Jet and Virginia almost level up. Cool. Not here, sis. We all be buried alive if you cast something that powerful. We have only come here with the intent of research in mind, and it has proven fruitful, at least for us. If you still, if you're still interested in striking a vein, please proceed. We won't get it in your way. But I doubt you'll find any precious gems. Just ordinary gems. We went through all that trouble to get here, and how did you know there weren't any special gems of value here? Answer me. 
We have all been deluded. It is. It was a big misunderstanding on all our parts. You mean we've been had? Maybe so. We, and everyone on this planet, have been deluded. Yes, I believe the professor's theory is correct. If that is the case, what is the truth? Then let me ask you something. So what drives you to face danger? That's easy. Gems, jewels. The more I get a hold of their sparkle, the more I sparkle. But that's just a fleeting glitter. The sparkle I'm looking for is the real sparkle. I don't care how many false leads I have to follow. One of these days I will find it. And I will shine because of it. Well, I have absolutely no business being here now. Next gem is calling me, so I bi must bid you adieu. She's trying to find the real sparkle among the many fake ones in this world. Let's head back to Humphrey's Peak for now. We don't have time to waste either. No, we must not go back. Fine. Ba da ba da bum. Ba da ba da bum. <laughs> That's we have quite a bit of gala now. Almost twenty thousand. so peaceful. Even for a vagabond like me, the thought of getting married and settling down with children crosses my mind every time I'm here. Is there a arms thing here? No.
Well, there goes a lot of a lot of our money. But that well. It's fine, I guess. Alright, so So I won't have to worry about buying more of those for a little while. So I'm gonna do first before we head to the next area, I'm gonna get Jet and Virginia up level and then we'll move on.
Don't pester us, save station attendants, it's been right there. Uh -huh. Okay.
already started on this but the corrupt soil is creeping its way in here from the northwest please the closer the soil comes the deeper my flowers will Labyrinth, okay. So before we do that, I'll be right back and we'll continue onward. So, be right back.
And back. Sorry, that took a little bit. Alright, so... Let's... Go on into the King Labyrinth. Hopefully, this is... Not too bad, so... Also, now that I have, like, access to, or I've been already, I can still do that, um, what's we call it, so, alright. I want to get those um, heel berries growing and all that fun stuff, so. A dead reptile.
Pum, pum. That was simple. Decorate's chest is chipped. Could it have faded with time or is someone responsible? A strong sense of death creeps out from small cracks. Creaks, whatever. The sense slowly transforms into a human shape and begins to unleash death.
Dead pretty soon, right? The other two were close, so the corpse ring glitters as it eats away the surrounding dirt, rock, and all life. Form in its vicinity. Life form, whatever. At crying the corpse ring, curse all party members by reducing their HP to 1 and their vit gauge to 0. It will be impossible to remove the curse as long as you are in the ruins. You cannot restore your... Furthermore, you'll not be able to save... The only way to remove the curse is by exposing the ring to sunlight. Not meant to 
do. So we just want to My instinct is instantly just to say no, I don't want the encounter, but...
Okay, just do those. Just do that, please. Well, crap. Great. What was the load? Oh, gosh. them down. Nice. 
Wait, what? There's another one. What the gosh? That was a waste.
Awesome. That's not gosh dang it. That's a little bit of a Alright. 
This ring is purified by the shimmering sunlight and evaporates into thin air. The corruption that was eating away at the ruins and the surrounding area is put to rest. Hey. Well, we cleansed the cursed ring we found in the ruins in the northwest, but we still don't know whether we stopped the corrupted soil. Hmm, I think it's all right. The flowers say they feel a lot better. Well, I'm shocked. You've got a string, stronger bond with your surroundings than even of us Baskars. It's like, we did our job, now let's get out of here. We can <clears throat> we can find a better work elsewhere. Actually, if you don't mind, I have a, one more reward for you. The soil is corrupt no more. Now I can share with you the bounty of the harvest. Goods, goods for your journey. Are you saying you'll cultivate herbs and medicines for us? Many have tried, but so far nobody has been able to raise such plants. That's what... Okay, so I guess that makes sense why we can't get... If the earth has been... Corrupt in such a way... But I guess that makes sense why we can't actually buy healing items. Yeah. That's why you can't just... Well, yeah. That makes sense. There's a in story reason why we can't it just okay. and here you're offering to do just that for us we really appreciate it but you've given us a reward already so you can't don't have to go out on the limb okay then i won't <clears throat> then share some of your flowers with me that's all i ask for in return all after all i love taking care of flowers you heard her let's grab as many as much as we can Sorry he's so rude. He's had it rough, so you'll never hear anything nice out of him. But he's not really a bad guy, okay? Of course. You help the flowers, you have to be nice people to want to help Mother Nature. Why is that font? Whatever. You have to be nice people to help Mother Nature. 
And your point is... When gardening, I can cultivate special berries, berries, carrots, and various flowers, too. Awesome. Okay. So... Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so... Search to improve an item class, would you like to sacrifice an item in order to improve an item class? Okay, so... Again, to, to choose gardening, you will see a screen with the boxes, some options. Boxes or flower beds. One for each item to begin gardening with a specific item. First, you must do the following. Obtain at least one of that item that you must select. So, okay. Create a seedling for it. Now select so again. Next one. Okay. If I know you, this will somehow, but it's possible, right? Okay, so... Okay. So we just let that run, okay. So we have 40, because I don't know what I did with that other one, but whatever. I'll have to more, read more up in depth about the gardening thing, but we have that going. So yay. And we're also at level 24, so that's cool. Alright.
Ba-dum, ba-da-bum, ba-dum, 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 ba-da-bum, ba-dum, ba-da-dum. A little bit of a detour, but worth it. So are you drifters? There's something I'd like you to be aware of. Also by the name of Dio Barg attacks people around here. It's a very dangerous beast. He somehow responds to too fast moving things, and he's ruins so many of our trains. So please watch out. You're just asking for trouble if you go back draw on horseback riding here. Uh huh. Theobarg has possessed habits. One of them is to run alongside passing trains and gobble them down. If this keeps up lucky, nobody will want to come see the Luck Guardian's shrine. I'm so worried. That's right, the shrine of the Luck Guardian, Guardian is far east of here, under the mountain top across the tracks. But now it's become a monster's nest, so be very careful not to get too close.
there, right? Before we head in there, I'm going to, I'll be right back again, and then we'll check out there, so be right back.
And back. Alright, let's... Quit, uh... Okay. Yo. Yes, I said too. Last time Catherine and I were here, we did not feel this evil presence. Because though monsters might jump in, jump us, jump us at any time. Blech. I can sense the Guardian's life force with this vile atmosphere. We need to go and check. Do you wish to know? There are 320 treasure chests in this world, of which 107 have been opened. So that's probably some sort of... thing. Okay.
Okay. Chamber of Fortune. Find the light that guides you by matching the colors of the crystals. Okay. Hold it all. Okay. 
Okay. Save here. So I can't. Okay. Hey. Sucking out all the energy from the shrine. I don't think it is satisfied with, the, with just the guardian life force. We appear to be its next meal. Give me a break. Well, the glutton is hungry. Let's make it eat bullets. Let's just shoot it.
Okay, um... This thing. Yeah. It's a fun time. That was good. Sure. Nice, nice. Alright. What to Yeah, we'll do that. We've just been on continuing on this. Finally got um, the garden thing going, so have a good source of healing items finally, so yeah. Right. Oh, should be getting good healing items. Nice. And he's dead. And I forgot to... whatever. Forgot to do the EXP thing. Ugh. Wasn't it? It's something else eating away at the Guardian's life form. Force. Eh. We have sensed the evil before. The dark spear that devours all life forms is nearby. Janice, how far he. How far. Uh, bleh, how dare you desecrate life? <clears throat> yep. Alright.
Right, well, again, thank you for the raid as, as always, and have a good night. Let's see. That's what I'm supposed to do. I assume that's what they're supposed to do, so... Okay. so we can kind of instantly start off with a lock-on from Clive. Be nice. But the problem mean I would like to get his arms raised up so we can get more damage.
Okay, so we want... Cool. Since we just got a coin, so... Alright. Nothing but a lapdog. You seem to be pretty comfortable fetching the Prophet's slippers. The Janus I knew, if I recall correctly, used to have wings of his own, even if they were smeared black. Well said, Princess, but your attempts to provoke me are still uninspired. Think that if I lose my temper, I will stop gathering the Guardian's life force and attack you. Is that your intention? That's pretty clear, but my orders are to gather the life force from this su from this sucker. That's it. And if I forfeit my mission and fight you, who knows what they'll do to me? Damn prophets! What do these blokes? What do those blokes want with all this energy anyway? Transform Phil Gaia? What nonsense. What would be the outcome? Do they not know that the Guardian's life force is being stored within the bind body? Even with the ancient wisdom, those blokes have absolutely no idea how to utilize this energy effectively. That's why I've decided to use it for them. In order to live freely and rid yourself of all restraint, you need power. This is exhilarating. With this power, I can overcome all restraints. Don't tell me you're up to what you do best. Double crossing. Double crossing? Nah, I wouldn't call it that. I just want it to be true to myself and live freely. Live freely? Is that what it means to live freely? Precisely. Urgh. The one who has the most power and can push everyone aside is the one who lives most freely. No, you're wrong. That's not what it means to have power or freedom. Are you at it again, princess? You should know by now. Without power, you're unable to do whatever you want. You just become a pawn of someone who has power. But right now, the great power lies within me. I am free. No one can get in my way. Genesis Cascade, you cold blood monster. That's right, princess. I've been liberated from my human form into this cold blooded monster. I'm burning up. I'm about to explode. It's as if something's trying to break out from my insides. Could this could this be the guardian's guardian's power? Bum 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 bum. Okay. 
Okay. Sir. much damage I take, I will not perish. This is the power I have been after. This is mind-blowing. Absolutely mind-blowing. Oh, 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 oh. That will... Probably would have leveled up, but... That will... Say your prayers, princess. I'll make this quick and painless. Dot, dot, dot. for me to use my powers when you're already half dead. Don't worry, princess. I'll let you blokes live a little longer. Stop. Where do you think you're going? 
Ow. Sorry, princess, but I have places to go and things to do. I'm a busy man. Lucky hand. Too late again. I can feel the anger, chagrin, and frustration of the Guardian robbed of its life force. Is it because of the Arctic Scepter? Probably not, huh? It's because the Guardian and, and I are both trying to survive desperately to infill Gaia. We share the same sentiment. What is that I'm seeking? The freedom he talked about. If I had the power, I could have denied him of his freedom. Uh, how much longer do we have to fight that guy? Why do I have to be bound by fate? I know it's up to me whether I want to fight or not. Then I'll just... Punch. What he, what he talks about isn't freedom. It's just a cop-out. I can't do something so lame. Sorry, everyone. I'm slow to catch fire, but it looks like I'm ready to burn. For the sake of the guardians who were violated, you can say that. But moreover, because I want to about there, I want to find my own freedom by denying him his gallows. Let's go back to Humphrey's Peak and wash away this gloomy mood. We can't march forward with our heads hung low, right, leader? Let's march on. Awesome. <laughs> Okay. Okay. 
hold on. So you want to give... I do want to fight that other thing that's there, but I need a, my horse. But I'm gonna go rest up first. You know, we don't really need it, but it's best to probably do that anyway. We have that second part of the, that book, so could do that. This planet is incomplete, imperfect to be endowed the full wisdom of Hades. It rejects us and is therefore unsightly. Its unsightliness is like a pupa or papa waiting to emerge. This planet must reincarnate into utter beauty, like a butterfly, like me. Is that what you're, you were thinking? Malik, since when have you... I heard your vain, glorious looks had no effect on that man. I think I liked the old you better. Temper, temper. It's not very admirable of you to use the wisdom of Hades for his own, your own personal matters. Like resurrecting the dead, a spin-off of life control technology. You think I haven't noticed? I apologize. I said a little too much. I didn't mean to hide my experiment from you either. I was going to let... Oh, I accidentally pressed whatever. There's no need for the three of us to quarrel. We all strive for the same goal. Our goal is to recreate this entity of life we call Filgaia. Ever since we have evolved by the wisdom of Hades, the environment of this planet is too much of a burden on us. And that is why we must carry out the terraforming. To alter the makeup of the environment using the wisdom of Hades to evolve the, this planet into Terra, a planet that is suited for us. And by doing so, we are also promoting the analysis and practice of the lost wisdom for, from the information library Hades. We will be in charge of this lost technology of the gods. This has been a long cherished ambition for us as disciples. However, should our plan fail? Also, hello, J Swift. How are you? We will be nothing but an alien element of this life entity we call Vilgaia. The planet will no doubt deem us as parasites and begin to cleanse itself in order to exterminate us. Our deaths would not simply be our own, but the stagnation of evolution. In other words, the end of the human race. The future is meant for the evolved. We are the only ones that are worthy. That is why we must evolve Vilgaia into a form suited just for us. Nice. Ho hopefully work was good. It is the dark spear that points to Filgaia's future and ours. But also, I'm glad you're doing pretty good, so... 
Melody. Accompany Asgard and eliminate these unwanted drifters. Yes, sir. Yes, my master. It speaks? The internal Gemini circuit enables him to learn, and the evolutionary... Analogism, analogism, whatever, gives him the ability to reason. Looks like they are beginning to take effect. Accumulating past battle data and analyzing the proper action to take is what forms his simulated spirit. So if the Gemini circuit is his soul, then all the d data he collects can be likened to his memories. Depends on the type of data he gathers, he may even form emotions one day. Hmm. So this isn't my field, but very interesting indeed. The information of memory. Malik, continue with the download. I want you to bring up the schedule by seven steps. Seven steps? Sir, why the rush? Is there is there a problem? I have just received word from Blazes. Chadis has just stored the extracted guardian life energy into his own body. Janice has received his final level. His motives are ours. If we don't act now, the future may fall into the hands of one with unsuitable ambitions. father. Well, I don't remember much about him. I was only a little girl. Actually, my uncle told me he was a scientist. You know, looking back, the only memories I have of my father are him teaching me how to handle arms. If this, if that photo is indeed the Council of Seven, or if it is somehow connected to the prophets, it may have connect something to do with the mysteries of the world. Just as my professor, Catherine's father did, Perhaps they were looking for the mystery behind Philgaia's decay. Then your professor is a scientist too? Yes. He was in search of Philgaia's memories so that he might track down the cause behind the planet's decay. He passed away several years ago during an accident. It was my fault. Listen, uh, I'm sorry you told us this story before. Sorry I brought it up. Please don't worry, I'll, it'll just make us more uncomfortable. Yeah, that's all in the past now. There is nothing more pointless than dwelling on the past. Just because you don't have any memories doesn't give you the right to say such cruel, such a cruel thing. Look who's talking. Awkward. Hey, is Clive here? Was this a bad time? No, not at all. What can I do for you? Kill me. I just received word about a mission that calls for a skill drifter and thought of you. If you're busy, I could come back later. No, we're fine. We would need to know the details. All right, the client is waiting underneath the street lamp in the town center. He's a member of a rising religious order. I think they're called the Ark, Ark of Destiny. Something. It's that guy that came by the, to repair the memory figure recently. He's dressed funny, so you can't miss him. Best of luck to you. And he just disappears into the white void. From an errand boy of the gods, huh? Sounds pretty shady. You don't want to talk. Well, let's get our game face on. Yeah. Okay, well, we were... Okay. Here, there's a newly discovered ruin not too far from here. Have you heard anything about it? No. So we have everything, everything's good. One's right. Time for more reading. But I have no more books to read. If you find a book right, we have to exit B. 
I did my best to eat celery. Do you, do you and mom really talk like so? Really like celery, or do you just eat it because you're grown ups? Well, okay. Adventure 2. Yay, a book. A book. Will you read it to me? Yes. Okay. So. So it's not. Okay, so chapter 2. Tea time. My grandma had a habit of saying life is a strange thing, but it's very true. Even if the Crimson Noble legend is true that they are blood feeding monsters, the castle li library are, and the existence of Maryville was too tempting to resist. And the fact that all of this was my own secret made my heart dance. I couldn't help chuckling to myself while I read The Basics of Wind Power. Are you reading something funny? Uh, well, I, uh, being caught laughing by yourself is quite embarrassing. No, oh, it's nothing, she chuckled as I tried to comp compose myself in front of her. Jack, care for some tea? I would like to know what kind of lives humans live in this age. That goes the same for me. I'm interested in the Crimson Noble's life, too. Settled. Then let me call Red and Blue to set up the table. Maryville closed one of her eyes and snapped her fingers. These things are red and blue? Correct. Are they not cute? Uh, yeah. I just don't get what girls consider cute. I secretly sighed while watching a pair of spherical robots, one red and one blue, cleverly carrying a tray. Picking up a small marble pattern, a plate of sweets, and a pair of teacups, they served hot tea for us. Thanks. Their big eyes twinkled as if they said, You're welcome. I guess they are kind of cute. Maryville took a saucer with a blue flower printed on it and gracefully carried a sweet to her mouth. Huh? Maryville, you're crimson noble, but you can also eat normal food? Of course I can. Having tea and sweets is a lady's pastime. Is that how it is? Yes. Okay, then I'll go ask the girls in class about it next time. You do that. Blowing to cool, cool off the hot tea, we engage in a somewhat silly conversation. While taking in the sweet scents, scent of herbs from the tea, I hurriedly bit into the sweet morsel, which melted into my mouth. How do you like our sweets? Maryville asked with a smiley face. Can I give you an honest opinion? Of course. It doesn't have any texture at all. And it's not that sweet either. And I, I like more sugary and crunchy. Hearing my answer, Maryville bristled and her eyebrows raised. No crunch? Not sweet enough. Of course not. We carry no such barbaric taste in our blood. You said I could be honest, and I never said I, it tastes bad. It's really good, but it melts away in one bite. Could you feel it? that. Don't you feel it should last longer? Absolutely, I, have, I absolutely have no idea what you are talking about. Then I'll bring some of our barbaric sweets next time. It's really tasty. I said with a dreamy face, remembering the taste of an old-fashioned apple pie the later, the lady, well, the lady down the street made for me. Alright, alright. I'll try it. If you say so. Smiling bitterly, Maryville looked at the clock on the wall and turned towards me. Is that time you should head home? Your parents will worry. Oh, that's alright. I only live with my grandma. Besides, she always says boys would be more adventurous. I tried to keep it cheerful, but her red eyes turned a little worried. I see. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't worry about it. I might have sounded rude, but I hate receiving sympathy. I know it's childish to think so, but I'm still at an age where I can have a little leeway, right? But... I shouldn't prob- I should probably go home now. Grandma shuts me out for dinner when I'm late. Well then, I'll see you out. That's okay. I can- I can go back on my own. Using the soft, springy cushion of my- on my seat, I stood up. Come back again. Let me goodbye to Maryville as she cleaned up the tea set. I ran outside. The north wind stings my cheeks. Shivering from the cold, I looked up at the sky and saw the thin moon between the mountain tops. Oh no, Grandma, I said with a whimpering voice. I left late at night at the Crimson Castle again. But she already found out when I came back and gave me a spanking. 
I forgot the grandma sleeps early at night, but wakes up even earlier in the morning. Call me stupid. Eek! As I fell flat on my desk, a blue satin ribbon waved in front of me. Good morning. Cursing slightly in my head, I looked up at the cheerful voice. Just as I expected, there stood my only classmate of my age, Violetta Bubka. From the outside, she looks like a cute girl with her blonde hair and a layered bob. She gets mad when I say it wrong. Matched with blue eyes, beautiful blue eyes. She moved from a big city last year to her father's hometown, Quartley. As I remember Quartley. That sounds familiar. Anyway. So she is way more elegant than other girls, but she had an attitude from hell. Um, good morning, what is it? Violetta, Violetta, that widened her nostrils. As I answered in a snotty, as I, as I answered in a snotty tone, well, you're in a bad mood. Not nice to someone who brought you some bad new, big news. But I guess you bought a new ribbon of something, right? She was a bit mad at my ne negl blah, 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 negligent attitude, but she said, a transfer student of our age is coming today. That is big news. I straightened up and looked at Violetta. No kidding. Hey, so is the transfer student a he or she? It's a girl as far as I can tell from the distance. She's too cute. She's too cute a girl to be a match for a monkey like you. Never asked you anything like that. Girl, huh? I was a little disappointed that the new student was a boy. I could have been have made a new friend to work on the craft together. Or I messed it up. Contrary to what Violetta said, the student called in by the teacher was a boy, but Wow. I saw why Violetta mistook him as a girl, pretty green eyes, and a face, fair hands, and a skin that hasn't seen much sun. What can I say, given some... Well, yes. <clears throat> I don't think he's the type that will understand my love for our aircrafts. Glancing over the class with all the girls blushing and whispering, Violetta blushed up to her, to her ears with her mouth wide open. I felt just felt dejected. He introduced himself with a tense voice. My name is Reese Farlane. <clears throat> nice to meet you. Hi, Reese. What's your favorite hobby? Violetta raised her hand, still blushed. She's probably trying to impress him before the other girls snap out of their crushed trance. Uh, I play violin and I enjoy reading. Um, I, he must be straight out of, of a romance novel. Ignoring the buzzing class, the teacher tells Reese to sit next to me and starts the lecture. She even whispered to me, look after him. But understood. Okay. I don't... I don't mind, but how does Reese feel about it? I shook my head slightly and placed my textbook between me and Reese. He shuddered briefly at the ruffling noise. Um, can I share your textbook? That's, that's what I meant to do. I nodded bluntly. Keeping his distance as to not invade my space, he peeped into my textbook. You don't have to be so hesitant. Reese shuddered his shoulders again. Yes, but this is my first time. What's your first time? This is getting to be like one of those late night radio dramas. Well, I, I've i never been to school before. Huh? Where were you living before? Judging by his clothes and face, I can't believe he's from some backwater town without schools. Well, I'm, I never got to hear him finish his words. When I felt the sunlight from the window blocked, the teacher was standing there with a smirk on her face. No talking during class, boys. We hurriedly looked down at the textbook. Say, aren't you at an age you should be at? Should be going to school? Maryvel asked while she read the wonders of the Emma motor across the table from me. Well, yeah. What? How is that going for you? Are you not spending too much time if, with me and forgetting to socialize with your friends? It's kind of sad, but I don't have many friends my age. Well, boys my age, at least. Wait a sec, I forgot about the transfer student. I felt the corners of my mouth drop at the thought. 
did you suddenly remember something? I don't a bit with her sudden question. Your thoughts appear on my face, on your cap. Maryville sat her book down and looked into my face. Is my face that easy to read? Yes, you're the type that shows everything on your face. I never noticed that. Scratching my head, I continued. Actually, a new student came to our class today, but he's a real girly kind of guy, and I can't seem to get to like him. He even plays a violin. Oh gosh. <clears> hmm, <throat> that's a tender subject, answered Maryville, twirling a pen in her hand. But it's such... It is such men to possess a strong, manly side to appreciate the finer things in life, no matter how many call them girly. Is that really how it is? I don't think so. That's how it is. See for yourself. With that remark, Maryville laughed. Thanks, that was fun. Yeah, okay. Before we talk to that guy, I'm going to... Go... Fight that... One thing. Or try to, at least. So how do we get this thing to... Team form moves to intercept the party and their mounts. It is none other than Theobarg, the beast that seeks to devour all that treads noisily. Clearly. Okay, so what is it? Okay. Dead. 
dead instantly. <laughs> And everyone leveled up. Diminishing Gargantuan was vanquished thanks to the bravery of the Proud Virginia and her comrades. The dragon fossils that slept in the belly of the beast had broken the glittering shards and now rest at their feet. Okay. See, I have a sponsor who constructs puzzles under the design all over Filgaia. 
I'm not entirely sure who he is or why he's doing it, <clears throat> but I try not to pry. After all, people who like puzzles are good people. I don't know. right now. Morning. Entering high-risk area. Watch, watch for incoming... Yeah, well, we already defeated that, so... Bum, 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 bum. Puzzle. What is this? Yu-Gi-Oh! or something? Touch the white crystal when you're ready to take the puzzle. Solve the puzzle and you receive an item. Okay. Blocks of four colors mysteriously placed on the mysterious platform. Welcome to the Millennium Puzzle, the ultimate challenge of mind and power matter. Let me explain. Limit, limit, well, eliminate blocks of the same color by placing them next to each other. Move blocks by pushing and pulling them. Unfortunately, all of the precious tools are useless. You have two choices, complete the puzzles or jump off the platform, platform to exit. Each time you complete a puzzle, you'll receive a prize appropriate to the puzzle's difficulty. Good luck, puzzle solver. Okay.
Okay, so... so. Okay. I'm gonna need because I don't have a okay, I need to reset. No, it's not moving. Well, just push them off the edge. No. All right. <clears throat> Ok, 
Okay.
Okay. That's stuck, I should think. I me to do that, but okay. I have it.
Okay. <clears throat> Raises our effects when health is critically low. Okay. Let's go. I want to check the um, garden to see. <clears throat> apparently, it takes like in-game time. So I just kind of want to check. getting the names of the stations mixed up. So Midland Station, okay. Just making sure.
Oh, no, bum, bum. So, 83 heal berries. Yeah, it's, um... <coughs> um, let's... So we're good on heal berries. So yeah, let's just get those potion berries going. I'm not. I'm not even like upset at the um not having to be able to buy heal items because now I remember right. There's a story reason why. No one has them for sale. Like, to give the an actual reason, yeah, that's good, so... Okay. Ba-dum, ba-da-dum, ba-dum, ba-dum. So we want to go to East Highlands, right? And then go back to there and talk to the guy. Should probably also save. <laughs> now that we have 83 heal berries, so. Now, will they go to like a certain number or will they kind of like just keep stacking?
Okay. I understand you'll take on the mission, on this mission. Thank you very much. I'd like, to <clears throat> I'd like you to brief us first, then we'll decide whether to accept or not. Very well. I understand. We at the we at the Ark of Destiny are dedicated to using ancient artifacts to bring about a better future, free from the, these harsh environmental conditions. Our religious order has recently discovered a ruin in this area. It is said to be an ancient ruin dating back to the very first people who inhabited this planet. The very first people of this planet. They are a people from the unknown who descended to the fertile plains of this planet from a ship that soars the heavens. You're taking, you're talking about the legend about our forefathers coming to fill Gaia in a, in a flying ship, right? I thought it was just a fairy tale. Many people see it, see it as that. However, we at the Order have excavated a number of ruins that substantiate, substantiate bleh, the tale. The ruin in question is another one. What would you like us to do? I would like you to get past its security system and make your way to the power room to retrieve the Kazim Fire. The Kazim Fire, what's that? Just as the name implies, it is a beautiful crystal that shines a translucent red. However, its true value is not in its physical beauty. It is the crystallization of energy that once set in the sh that once set the ship that soars the heavens afloat on the seas, allowing it to keep running. It is the true worth of Kazim fire, or so the legend says. So it is nothing but a rumor without much credibility, but it. In fact, this is true, we will be able to gain the powers of the ship that soared the heavens. As our name implies, we are we at the Ark of Destiny that wish to guide mankind towards the future. Well, okay, we'll accept this mission. Are you sure you are not making a hasty decision? Shouldn't we find out more? It's true that we are hardly that we hardly know anything about this Ark of Destiny. But if such a powerful crystallization of energies lies untouched deep within the ruin, 
prophets will come knocking. Since there are so many unknowns about this mission, I, do, I don't know if we can live up to your expectations. We won't ask to ask for payment up front, but we would like to be paid in full if we succeed. Very well. If successful, I will pay you two thousand. Really? That's what I'm talking about. No negotiations. No negotiations needed. That's agreed. We'll let you all. We'll let you know what we find. Good luck. Boop. Okay. Let's see here. Founder Lamium has told me the Kazim fire is located in a ruin southwest of this town. I wish you got speed. Southwest. Cool. Metal Gear. <clears throat> uh, where's the. No. Anything to sell that would be a wind gem. Okay. Another Millennium Puzzle. Touch the white crystal, yes. Might as well try it.
All right. <clears throat> But it's not what gosh damn it. see it. I, I didn't get what I'm supposed to do, that's what I mean.
me. Remember to get those other ones. That's not, that's, gosh dang it. It's not gosh friggin' dang it. Okay. 
technique. Okay, so dump three and left. Okay. Hello, Akahiro san. Welcome. It's going good. Hmm. Just trying to figure out this puzzle. Modern Arms is going. Modern Arms Three is going pretty good. I'm enjoying it. Again, just trying to figure out this. Okay, let's then get. That's not <clears throat> That's not what I meant to do. What's I love Neo? I didn't even realize I was 
<coughs> oh, you're reading, so. Sorry. <laughs> kind of concentrating on the... this puzzle here. I didn't say that there was a raid, though. That's odd. Okay. <clears throat> I didn't say that like, there was a raid there, but whatever. How's your stream? Okay, so we want to get Oh, nice, nice. Let's see. Because it's, I think we got in total four blues. We got five. Wait. Okay, so we got two, four yellows. So we got four all of them, right? I think.
All right. Cool. Stop catch. Sometimes I feel like the thing just wants to just run. Like I'm just trying to hold down the, just, the thing. again. Right, okay. So I want to take this one. Um. 
Okay, we want to get that. Again, it just must have run me off for some reason. over Bum, bum. Also, if it's not obvious, I am looking at a guide thing, just because, yeah. That's... Uh,
Okay. I guess I'm gonna bring this one back for here and then... Awesome, yay. Level Apple. Cool. Which I'm not going to use yet because apparently it's best to use those late game, so. So, yay. Okay. That took a while. Assuming that's the yep, that's the next part. We're not going to go through that just yet. Moss Fungus. I just wanted to find it. Jets leveled up. Sweet. Let's just do that. All right. So it's basically just north or direct. Okay. Cool.
All right. Yeah, so let's go in here, rest, save, and then next time, gotta try to get more dungeons done. Let's see. Could have like five more <clears throat> in this chapter, so. So I'd like, love, love to get those five out of the way, but. So we did do, we did do some optional stuff, so there was, there was that at least, so that's good. Um. We have 83 heal berries now. We are growing potion berries, so that's good. Um, yeah. But anyway, so I'm gonna call it here. Next time, would love, absolutely love if we can get chapter two done. That would be great. At least three or four of those dun of those dungeons done would be nice. Um, but yeah, so now that we have a good healing item resource, um, apparently it's all in game time too. So I might cheat the game to try to get as many as possible and just keep the game on. So, yeah, but um, <clears throat> just so we won't have to worry about that kind of stuff. So anyway, so yeah, so next time my reach goal would be to finish chapter two with the next five dungeons. Yeah, or at the very least, let's get like three or four done. We'll see. Anyway, it depends. I guess it also depends on how many uh, optional things we go do. So, anyway, so thank you everyone for watching, and as always, thank you for being awesome. And until next time. <laughs>